All right. Uh, good evening. This is a uh, call to order the um, ad hoc Board of Education ad hoc budget procedure committee meeting um, at 647 uh, October 10th, 2024. Uh, Mike Whitney, Jen White and Ian Thomas in attendance, or I should say, uh, are here as committee members. And we have Adrian Johnson and Bev Washington in attendance. Um, not as participants, as attendees, um, just watching the meeting. Um, and uh, I believe, uh, just a quick bit of communications uh, before we jump into the agenda. Um, I was in contact with the chair. He did express an interest in, in dropping in for the meeting. Um, and uh, he may uh, exercise the ex officio status to become part of the committee or at least like participate in the conversation, uh, non-voting. Um, I'm not sure what his intent is, uh, but he just did say he was gonna be uh, possibly dropping in if he was able to get free from his other obligations, um, which of course he's more than welcome to do. So um, first up on the agenda is a um, review of the meeting minutes from September 19th. Um, I'll entertain a motion to uh, pass the minutes. I move to pass the minutes. All right, moved by Whitney and do we have a second? Um, well, I'll second it then uh, just to get it on the floor. Any comments? All right. Um, I just want to check real quick. Uh, Jen, can you hear us? And is your technology working correctly? Hmm. Oh, there you go. Ah. Um, sorry, it's user error. I had to press <laughs> a button to speak. But yes, um, if you didn't want a second, I can second that. Okay. Um, no, well, we're fine. Uh, we're on the floor now. So any comments in the minutes? No. All right. Very well then. Um, take a vote to uh, approve the minutes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And I'm in favor as well. So there's none opposed and none abstaining. Um, agenda, the minutes are... Accepted. All right. So um, now that brings us to number two, um, or number three, I should say. Uh, the We are going to look at the report here. I'm just going to get it pulled up. Um, There we go. All right. Can everyone see the report? Yes. And I've got it up too on my computer. Very good. All right. So, um, so I'm just going to, my thought was we could just go uh, page by page um, through the document and just kind of, you know, as we go page by page, just, I guess, vote each page into existence as a recommendation to move forward um, to the policy committee as needed or to the general body, depending on the, um, basically I envisioned it, um, I'm gonna skip to the table of contents here real quick. Uh, so we have the introduction narrative. That's not a thing that has to be voted on necessarily. Uh, uh, so we can just approve it as being part of the report. Um, and then the budget book table of contents template um, would be a thing that uh, I would envision that could be voted on to present to the whole body of the Board of Education um, to accept as a thing they'd want to see for this year. And also it could be a thing that could be added into one of the policy revisions 
um, that would be proposed as part of this report. Um, and, and same with number three and four in the idea that the budget process, budget process timeline, uh, one is from the Board of Ed point of view and the other is from the admin point of view. Um, both of those could stand alone as a thing that we want to adopt for this year uh, with the dates that are specific to this year in them. And then also could be attached as a template um, to the policy revisions that are in chapter five. Uh, chapter five is the big monster. Um, there's uh, in reviewing our notes from previous meetings um, and comparing them with the current budget policy. One approach, the approach I chose to take um, was that I would go through the policies that we had and see if there is overlap between what we identified as areas we'd want to improve or, or, or make some changes to and to see if I found policy that that could be um, parallel to that or, or that already kind of covered that territory, thereby like not having to create policy out of whole cloth, but being able just to, to, to revise the policy that's already on the books with maybe a couple sentences or a paragraph or two. Um, in some cases, it was a little bit more substantial, um, but we'll see that when we get to it. And, and I think, you know, that as we go through it, you'll, it'll, it'll, it'll kind of speak for itself at that point. And then chapter six is just a draft of the ongoing budget software research analysis. That's not that that would just be approved as to be part of or that could be approved to just be part of the report as an update. It is not in a state of completion at all. Um, and so that's that's something that we would have to like come back and complete at some point in the in the future. Um, so uh, with that general overview, any any questions on that? Okay, hearing none, uh, we'll just uh, jump into the introduction and narrative. Um, so, uh, what's the will of the body? Do we want to read word by word or, or read amongst ourselves? Um, I don't want to beleaguer anyone with the uh, sound of my voice droning onwards, but um, so I'd be glad to share the reading duties if somebody else wants to read. So, so my my overall question here is um uh are are we trying to shorten this up <laughs> that, that would be my my inclination okay uh, but but it i mean we don't need to but that's um so so if, if we do i've got comments in in that spirit i am open i, I believe brevity definitely is is the um <laughs> is always appreciated uh this definitely was not meant to be the final draft. It was a thing I kind of threw together to try to, again, with the kitchen sink approach. So yeah, if you see things that you want to, uh, you know, you think you tighten this up, um, I definitely appreciate fresh eyes. Um, I haven't been immersed in this for much of the past couple of weeks. Um, yeah. So uh, cut away. <laughs> yeah. And, and so, I mean, it, it reads quite well. And so uh, the things that I'll suggest cutting for brevity could also be left in. It's not like I'm uh, opposed to the the wording or content at all. Um, and and just as an example, like I I really like the the first sentence. Right, it says exactly why we're here. And then the the second paragraph over the past many months, um, it's it's in, informational. But we could get rid of that if we needed to mm -hmm. uh, or wanted to. Um, I, I really thought the interim, the next one about like why this is an interim report, I thought that is actually quite, quite important to keep yes. uh, brevity or not like that's that that helps explain where this is going. Um, and uh, it, and um, it, and I and that's so like that's so. I guess I'm, I'm uh, the first paragraph I'd keep the second one we could remove the third one definitely keep in some form and then the uh fourth one um I'm, like we could just I think we've almost got that 
already in the one before. Basically, it's like, hey, we didn't. The business off. The business manager wasn't hired yet. The new one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I feel like uh, that's almost in the paragraph above. So that, that that's my. Okay. my that was gotcha. So I was on the fifth paragraph. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, so this one. Yeah, I mean, it's almost in the the one above it. Right. There is mentioned there. Yeah. And that that's that again, brevity is is definitely always appreciated in these sorts of situations. So I could agree like these two paragraphs could go. Yeah. And um, it's yeah, it's a, no, but Jen, I'm, do you have... I'm OK with taking both of those out. OK. OK, well, then. And, and the the next one is is sort of like what comes next, right? Um, right. And then I the, the I'm torn on the the next part. It's like uh, we've got the chapters, they've got titles, mm-hmm. and we're explaining what's going on in those chapters. So I I feel like I I'm in torn on this because I would write this sort of thing myself. Um, but we might not need those the chapter descriptions, right? Like, because the next thing, because we've got the table of contents, right? Um, so that one, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it could be shortened up, it could be removed. Um, that's that's a little. It, it, it's it's long as it is, um, um, and we might be able to do without it, and then move the text in later. But that's. I mean, I don't want to spend too much. It's not like it bothers me, so I want to spend too much time on that part. But um, just thoughts. All right. Well, um, I'll highlight it as under. Well, Jen, uh, thoughts. Oops. Um, um, I'm okay with keeping it because I know the people that we're going to be presenting to. So I think they would actually appreciate it. Okay. Um, so it's almost an executive summary feel to it at that point. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that was my intent with writing it was kind of just to give it give a bit of a primer of like you know the way the intent behind the way things are laid out. Um, I I would if I had to vote either way I I would be inclined to keep it, just because it kind of helps like really. Uh, build a slow inclined ramp up into the the bulk of the report. Um, I think it just kind of yeah sets a good stage. Um, and 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 then my my tweak on the chapter order. Do, do we want the budget timeline one to come next instead of the the uh, budget book? Because no, there would be more pushback on that one. <laughs> Just from. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Understood. Yeah, take take the, take the easy ones off the table first. Yeah. That's yeah. Speaking. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am completely open to that. Um, so. Yes. Yeah, good point. Because then we could get derailed fast. Yeah. Well, while I'm up here switching this around, um, I also had the thought of maybe timeline and template, or like have something like that where it's the timeline now, but also a template for the future, sort of serving a dual purpose. Is that a sensible thing to do? Yeah, I think so. I I mean, we could almost just freight. I I like how it's it's phrased with specific dates for this year, but it could be like you know, like we are kind of doing it right right before um, uh, winter break or or things like that. A third week of you know. Uh, the end of December, the third week of January, stuff like that. Um. 
And I do want to say, like, as we're going through and I'll be suggesting edits and um, you can feel free to take them or not take them. But uh, but thank you very, very much for putting what we've covered uh, through the meetings into a very well organized and coherent uh, document. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It felt like a worthy challenge. And now we can rip it apart. <laughs> but <it's, laughs> it is very good. <laughs> Thanks. And once it gets implemented, there you go. We have process <laughs> guidelines. All right. So that would, so I'm just going to kind of highlight these as an area I have to go back and polish up a little bit. Because um, I don't want to get bogged down in time of actual time to edit. Uh, And also, this is an interim report anyway. Um, and so if there's like subsequent wordsmithing that you find you need to do, I don't, I don't, I mean, I'd be fine. I don't think we have to necessarily vote on exact versions, just. Right. Just you know, general, general intent. And, yeah. 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 And content, general content. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, All right, so we can move on from there. Because this is faithful to what we've discussed and talked about, I'll refer uh, as it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. So actually, this is going to be five. All right. So uh, do we want to jump to the timelines then and try to follow the new order? Of chapters or just kind of go as we got it just go as we have it this way we're not bouncing Fair enough. at least that's my opinion i'm good with it <clears throat> um mike you good with it yeah of course all right all right so on the big binder table of contents um now there there was the hope that the superintendent and the uh, business managers, as such as they are, that we, I think we are still carrying two for the time being is in transition now, but uh, either way, they weren't able to make it tonight due to a schedule conflict. Um, so I'm open to suggestion on, on how to deal with like the highlighted sections where we noted that we might need some input from them um is that just a thing we want to carry in there that note or take it out and and just kind of let things be what they're going to be do we have enough time between now and when we present to have like another meeting with just irene to walk her through this um the short answer as i understand it is no because no my okay. thought was like if we vote this out of you know, vote this towards the body tonight as a package, then it would show up at the cow on the 15th. And I've already got a an agenda item reserved in policy committee for the 16th for the policy revisions that are part of this report. Um, so if this report should make it out and all those proposed draft revisions are good by this committee, then they'll see their day in... Um, in basic, yeah, so basically the same time as the rest of the board. Right, right. And then and then the first official read of the report and those policy revisions as two related but separate agenda items, I imagine, uh, would be the 28th of October, our next regular meeting. Mm -hmm. The only reason I was asking was because I was trying to see if we could get her buy-in before. We don't need her buy-in. But it mm -hmm. would just be nice because, you know, she's the new finance or business manager. And yeah. she's prob she's going to be the one working with this. So if she had any, like, right suggestions. And so that, like, as we present it, we could just be like, we're not presenting to her at the first time. And she's already part of, like, our process. Right. That's and. If, to my understanding, like this report does not become fully official until like the, the you know the the whole board approves of the report. So, 
and that can't happen until it's at a regular meeting. That's my mm -hmm. understanding of the process. And and um, so we do have time because like the the cow would just be a presentation of the current draft. It wouldn't be okay. necessarily voting action. Um, no, I was just trying to simplify our lives, right? Because if she's totally against one item, or let's mm -hmm. say we can, we as a small group can make that so that it doesn't become like a discussion item and then 10 or six other cooks in the pot. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we address it as a small group. And then when we make that first reading, like it's almost like she's on board and, or whatever. It's just more like strategic um, how we to get it in there. But if she doesn't have time, um, I mean, it's okay. I mean, the document is like solid, like all the ideas we came up with, like mm -hmm. I'm pretty confident and willing to defend it, you know? So, but it's just like, I just didn't want any detractions, you know what I mean? Sort of like getting it in order before we even yeah. get there. Well, I think there there would be that that one the week of the twenty first where there's a bit of time between, you know, the cow on on the fifteenth and the regular meeting on the twenty eighth. Mm -hmm. it, it's possible that if there was interest and availability, we could schedule a special meeting of this committee, to uh, mm -hmm. and to to meet with the business manager and get some input on the sections that are, you know, heavily impact her office mm -hmm. no. but, so, but yeah it's just something to consider but it's okay we can it, we should like just focus in on our stuff right now okay so for the sake of 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 just cleaning up what we can clean up i'm going to just kind of take out the notes then what what i would suggest actually is yes take out the notes you know the mm -hmm. need input for business manager and superintendent and that's said in, in several places um, up above where you have the italics, um, mm -hmm. I, I think we just add one, uh, where above the parentheses one and mm -hmm. just, just say that, um, you know, the specifics of this new, uh, template need, need input from the new, uh, business manager and, and the superintendent, um, and, you, you know, and, and just, just have that as a blanket statement. Understood. I think that's a good approach. Jen, you okay with that? Yep. Sounds good. And, and my broader feeling is that we'll get some of this this year and some of it will probably wait until the new budget software, which hasn't even been, um, you know, we, we haven't had a chance to be able to look at. Um, so, uh, you know, having it as a, a, a template is very, very useful. And some of the, the details are just going to be naturally hashed out in the process. Like for instance, the first part about the budget message, a mm -hmm. lot of that's already in what we have. We're just asking for um, a, a few more things in there. My guess is that will be done, right? Um, some of the reorganization, it might be because the business manager said, yes, please. I have never done this anyway for your school system. And I've got, and, and I'll, I'll do it. Something that's aligned with what I've done before um, and what you want. Or it might just be, I am saddled with looking at this same uh, antiquated Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> this, is, this is the best I can do right now. Um, <laughs> and so I could see it going either of those ways or anywhere in between. So um, I, it's like where we're trying to get to. And and this is uh, uh, going to be a healthy direction uh, along that way. Yes. All right. But um, I do want to search a little PDF, <laughs> regardless. <laughs> yes, uh, that, that note stays in. <laughs> and I want all numbers center justified. Center justified. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I just got Ray off of, like, left justified. I was like, oh, my God. Or we're taking small steps. <laughs> so the other night, you guys missed it. They presented, like, a document. They had um, um, accounting currency 
so that just shows you where like the dollar signs are in different places. Then they had like two decimal places. I'm here like, and then I can't remember what else they had. Mm. It, it was a hot mess. So I told them like, can you just like make this like fix this? <laughs> Maybe in our template we could put um accounting zero decimal places commas <laughs> use this font <laughs> <laughs> right justified <laughs> right justified yeah I, it detracts like they have like um you know good work ahead of them but like those little things detract it's well, like it it's hard to read and track as at the same time mm -hmm. you know, it's it's hard to get a sense of the size of the number if it's left or center you know like mm -hmm. you know, right and if there's no commas and there's two decimal places you're like what is this so anyway all right um so this next yellow highlighted section was like our own brainstorm on certain areas um and this is where i wanted the business manager's input um to like where would they fit in or is it a thing that we need to break out or can we go with like, so I should say that this list here is actually something I found in one of the policies. And that's where I pulled it from, the blue list, the blue highlight. Um, and then I saw what we had drafted and I was like, well, maybe there's a way to integrate them, but that's something that I imagine the business manager would be able to do a lot quicker than we could uh, as, to, as far as where to put them. Um, but then again, I was like, well, does it even need to be in there? Our, our brainstorm and, or can we put that on the side and then, um, you know, just go with what was put, what was already mentioned in the, in the policy of, of budget preparation. Um, yeah, I guess and, you're asking, do we need that level of detail? Right. In, in this document? Right. Uh, we, uh, yeah. Um, my thinking was, and, and they, they have it it's mostly anyway, but it really should be according to that, that list that you, you took out of the policy. Cause I think that state. Right. That, that, that was the, what we're talking about. I was trying to find the state mandated codes for the functions. Yeah. And these are them. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I would say, you know, we have this list in other documents and we can kind of, you know, bring that forward at other times in other ways. Um, or possibly like, you know, after we get a chance to chat with the business manager, um, or we hear the, we can just kind of keep it in pocket for when we talk to the board I guess, mm -hmm. and ask if that's something they want to put back in there. But as for right now, like I can, I can just pull it out now. So the document moves cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll... yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay. Because as long as we have like a checklist of like those items are identified somewhere um eventually you know like within the the state coding we should be okay mm -hmm. yes and and on this the one you that school site budgets mm -hmm. uh i i know our intention and it's made clear by what's listed below um but sometimes site budgets get interpreted very narrowly as not really a discretionary fund, but but what the principals actually have control over at, right. at the school level. So I, um, it's almost like a school budget breakdown instead. Yeah. So or, or, be, because we just want to buy those units, and and they already have that, of course. But maybe not central office though. Mm -hmm. but I just don't want to see like the you know the hundred thousand dollars each school might have we, we want to see the biggies right I'm sorry say that again well we don't want to just see like the hundred thousand site or seventy five thousand dollar site budget for supplies and stuff we want to see like uh, full-time equivalents for faculty and everything so that we can say, for instance, is Mystic River getting proportionally more or less or the same as Charles Barnum, things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the function object code break alignment, would that suffice or do we need to go like a little more granular beyond object code? 
you uh, might no, you you might not just you might get rid of that line too right because it is in the red tab but they can find that mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe like the school site. Um, could just be school, but yeah. But, yeah, it could just be school budget or. Hmm. Yeah, because you've listed it, right? Yeah, it could be. Just, yeah. Hmm. The school. Right, I guess central yeah. office town is a school. They do hold education. Yeah. Yeah. So this, we want to take this out too, or yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was helpful for us and they've already got it in. That's that's fine. Right. Yeah. I think we could remove the word breakdown though too, right? Just school budget. Yeah. 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 Has a negative feel to it anyway. With a <laughs> <laughs> so And they do this already. They have it. So it's not like we're asking for anything new. No, it's just sort of like the arrangement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how about like little notes like this? Acknowledge that not exclusively Board of Ed jurisdiction, but this would serve as a tracker. Um, I mean, that's something that would come out. I mean, it's already come out in conversation a number of times during meetings from um, various board members that, that, you know, that's something that we should do anyway. Um, that's, but do we need that note in there to, again, like add as a disclaimer that we're not trying to say that you know we can allocate that money necessarily. Yeah, I think I think it's good to have that disclaimer for sure, and and it's important to have the CNP. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Jen, you you concur? Yes. All right. All right. Well then, whole bunch of returns here. All right. So this would be now the new chapter two. <clears throat> All right. And with this chapter, do you sort of, can we do with just their format? <laughs> mm -hmm. That well, was, what, yeah. Yeah. My, <clears throat> their, their format starts in October and ends in May. And it doesn't yeah. discuss like broader context. Um, but that, that was my thought is having like the two different ones because, you know, while we're not necessarily overseeing the 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 um, audits, we should always be aware that they're happening, and it would be good to get sort of a check off on that, saying that it's been done and everything's been submitted on time. But but maybe that sort of thing can and and the year end close out and the strategies for next year, which are uh, more or less in policies anyway, or will be. Um, maybe instead of. So it's kind of like two timelines, right? Like yeah. we have the main timeline and then before or after say that, you know, we have these other functions, right? And and just like in, encapsulate that in a short paragraph. Um, you know, we have possibilities to um, re review uh, the current year's budget, how it went, right? Basically all the stuff you say, um, get ready for audits, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um so so are you proposing that we leave it as is or or do you want to like make some adjustments here do you want to add in a couple sentences at top here i would say okay so the first version is our long working version right mm -hmm. uh, i i would say my feeling is like when we go through those um which ones aren't in there they're their current timeline. I feel like it's July and August. Um, um, yes. And and maybe that's it. Well, let me take a look through. Uh, except for the monthly reports, right? Like, yeah. And, and that's important to capture. Um, and then, yeah, so it's, it's June, July, August. And, and so I, I think that fits pretty neatly. Um, just written below their format of timeline mm -hmm. all along and just like these are additional you know budget or fiscal related uh or but budget related um responsibilities of the board or something like that and just just have it in a paragraph 
because we can say we need this monthly June, July, August is the time for uh, those two things uh, or three things. And, and that way they're, they're just looking at one budget that looks or one timeline that looks real, real familiar with just a couple of tweaks, which are going to be very important. <laughs> so. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Jen, your thoughts? Um, yeah, I could, I could live with that. I was, I was okay with having the July and August and September all split out the way it is, but I'm okay with having it consolidated into a paragraph. Oh, or you could just put lines added to the, their current form. Hmm. We could just do that. And, you know, it, one of them would be July, th June 30th. And right. Yeah, maybe we just add three lines. No one will read that far. <laughs> they will <laughs> definitely will. But uh, yeah. that, could, that could do it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, hmm. So you're saying just merge into the bottom of this table? Yeah, yeah, we'll get we'll have a June, we'll have a July, August, and a September since there wasn't one on top anyway. And mm -hmm. um, because the September is the part of the audit stuff, and that end of the year close out like to the state, uh, that's right in there. And then, then we've wrapped it around 24 7, 365. <laughs> <laughs> they need to stay in the office and don't go home. <laughs> <No, I'm just laughs> <kidding. clears throat> Uh, but it does convey that in a very real way yeah. our, our work continues through the summer yes right and you know how like we um requested um <clears throat> that insurance review and like we're getting it like in a couple of weeks it's almost like we should have that like every year you know <laughs> we right can add that here somewhere and it'd be ideally that would be a good thing to, i think to do during the summer mm -hmm. you know because right now it is actually happening in the middle of like, the ramp up of the budget pipeline and and that's not a great time to do it i mean it's better than it was before but even earlier would be better so that we could be prepared to make a move um if we wanted to make a move Uh, but I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe like July ish would be good. Uh, thoughts? When does it close out? Because, like, I'm trying to think, like, would they have the information? I always thought it was kind of adhered to like the fiscal year, but I don't know. Like they, they, I've, I don't feel like we've ever gotten a clear, like when is our go no go date if we wanted to change plans? That's the question. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, because like, right? Because that's part of the budget. Well, not it's not really part of the budget process, but it is part of the financial review that they need to, um review the benefits that you're going to offer and that should be like one of the benefit items right and they need to get that um in control or at least have a good estimate before this whole budget process right all right so i'm just going to make a note here for to merge the two together because i'm, I'm yeah. I, I think that'd be a better way that's a cleaner way to do it and I can just kind of consolidate um, the notes that we had from the other one into the same format down here, just mm -hmm. for the time, and then add in the notes that maybe in the months that overlap. Um, but that's a time consuming process that I can do uh, on my own um, after this meeting, um, prior to the cow <laughs> over the weekend. Um, so back up here. All 
All right, so that actually takes us to the meat of the main timeline, like the actual budget procedure uh, timeline, where it's like from the admin's point of view. Um, <clears throat> because there are some significant changes in there, which I went through and I changed the dates. I basically took the one that Ray sent to us in the last meeting and um, just went through and, and tried to make it correspond to what we had noted in our draft timeline. Um, <clears throat> but also I, I did, I made some adjustments here that are not, um, that I was looking at a calendar for and trying to like um, match their, their format. Um, but looking at the calendar and looking at the dates. Um, for the, um, the one that has the, all the January dates, like seven, nine, 14, 16, et cetera. Yeah. Can we just say January? Uh, well, that's where I was trying to match their format where they had dates for like when these meetings were going to happen. Cause I think they also want to want a schedule that mm. they like actually post. Okay. Start planning for. So I thought specificity would be preferred here. Um, so I was looking at like basically like Tuesdays to Thursdays, wherever there was no holidays intervening or, you know, so that way it would, it would leave us open for, um, you know, regular meetings and cow meetings where we had other business that was not budget related to attend to. Got it. So I need to go on vacation in January to somewhere with no cell phone or, or <laughs> internet. <laughs> right. Right. I'll see you in February. <laughs> well, it's not, but it's not quite over then. <laughs> I'm going to give Dean a hard time. He went to Korea, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. yeah that actually, actually kind of happened. Um, <laughs> Then, then I'll have him book me on whatever he wherever he's going. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, not much um, changed in the first many weeks. Like I basically just tried to highlight only the changes that I made to their timeline. Um, right? Yeah. No. Um. Yes. Yeah. 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 Help me out. Are you looking at their old one by chance, Jen? No, I'm looking at yours, but I remember because they oh. were already com um, having concerns about meeting in January. But right. if anything, like um, that's the thing that's the most like one of the more important date changes because doing a budget review in February is too late because that's right. their calendar. They didn't have any. They didn't have any review in January. It was like. Um, no, even last year when it was um, a little convoluted when they, you know, when it was being run, like we still had meetings in January. Mm. Um, it makes more sense to have it in January be done yeah, or, sure. you know, a majority of it being done and then just tweaks in February if we have to. Right, right. So, I mean, if that's the thing that we need to push the most or to like have it changed that's it is like get all the work done in january right and the other significant change too was this monday december 16th mm -hmm. in their timeline they had um some early december date that was uh presenting to the finance and facilities committee only mm -hmm. and uh so looking at the calendar and kind of thinking about it realistically they had that meeting happening before i think or during this time, mm -hmm. December 2 to 13 time. So I remember I took that out and I put it at the end of their timeline, but before the Christmas break. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's and that, And that makes sense because at least, you know, this year is not an election year for us, but if it were um, similar to when we all started, like we just got sworn in in that. I think in that time frame, you know what yeah. I mean? So it. It's like um, the first week of December, the new, the new, two, new term starts. Exactly. So like um, having it in that mid December, late December mm -hmm. makes sense. Cause if you have it like earlier, um, the old board's going to get it. <laughs> and that right. doesn't make sense. Right. And, and in this way, like the new board would come on 
and basically get this dropped in their lap, but they would still, they would have the benefit of the holiday break and mm -hmm. a guaranteed almost two month window for review and revision. Mm -hmm. So, you know, while some might feel upset or that, that maybe that's like slamming too much on a new incoming board member, it does build in a huge amount of cushion for that new board member to get acclimated to the document and, you know, consult with other people about ways to approach it. So that they, and then plenty of time to deliberate with the, with their fellow board members. In mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, that's a good point, Jenna. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, so, so, sorry, go I, ahead. Mike. Oh, so I, I like the, t the timeline and it's definitely in line with what we discussed. Uh, um, my question is in previous years, were there two public hearings for the budget? Um, I, I really like that, that there's one early and there's sort of later. Um, but I was wondering, if, I felt like there's only one in past years. I really like that we have two. Yeah. So, no, for, to my recollection and, and, and on their timeline, there was only one. Um, but, yeah, I added an extra one in here. Um, and do we have um, do we have a real any obligation uh, to even hold a, a public hearing, like for some things in the town, you have to hold a public yeah. hearing. Um, is I think the budget I think there is yes. And and can we can you hold more than one, or is it like public hearing part one and part two? I mean, we can deal with that later. But I was just thinking, you know, can you have a more than one public hearing on the same subject? Um, it just might be called it a little differently if we have to split it up but that's not for right. now it's just that's details. right understood yeah yeah it's yeah, a detail to be discussed later but the principle is the idea and and the thought the rationale that I, I, if memory serves or the and when I, or as i was making this one of the things i was thinking about trying to like actually just commit to it was one is a public hearing for us as a board as we're entering the thick of our deliberations that we get a sense of what the community is looking for um, as we go into our transition from superintendent budget into our budget, right? Um, and then the joint session is about halfway through that. So that still gives us time to make adjustments based on town council and RTM input, as well as public hearing after they've seen a few weeks of us working on it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I will say last year, boy, oh boy, I felt like when we had that, RTM town council BOE joint meeting you you guys hadn't seen much of the budget either no and, and no we did not nope turning that was just about <laughs> draft one yeah <laughs> uh the first thing thought is a piece of document I should <laughs> get it right it's a hundred and one <laughs> oh Mike you missed it <laughs> what no I'm just saying like I felt like um we rehash the same stuff over and over. Oh. So it's almost like when when this is presented, you know, like, and we're talking about those January dates, we need to be clear that we're going to review whether it's school by school or section by section. Um, and that um, if we have to, we would go back, but we are not going to rehash it. Like as the start of each meeting, we will just, continue to move forward right there'll be a se sequence to it yes <laughs> sense of like progression through not circling yeah. around yeah you just need to be very clear because that was like really um i'll be honest um it was really painful having to listen to the same stuff like over and then by the time we got to the new items or the new sections it was late, you know, so uh, like time wise. So it's just like, how can we better or more effectively manage our time? Right. So. All right. So how are we with uh, this page? Are we good as a draft for the notes that I got to merge the two oh, together? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. yeah. All right. So we'll move on. And to the main event. Um, 
So chapter five into the policy revisions. Um, so uh, you guys have had a, a couple days with this. Do you, uh, uh, how do you want to proceed? <laughs> um, any thoughts off the, off the, off the cuff? So I know. Oh, go, oh, go, go on. I know we worked on some of these like throughout our budget. Is there like a color coding where you, um, like when we are going through, like you change? Um, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the red ink is, is elimination omission. Yeah. Um, that's old text that needs to be eliminated. And mm -hmm. then the green is new text that's proposed. The black is old text that can stay. Yes. But like when, during our um, working sessions, there were some that we edited, right? And I thought we were good with those. Um, uh, well, are there I think, some um, that like is brand new that like you edited on your own that like Mike and I? Uh, so no, made? what what we, yeah. So the way I viewed that page that we had with the chart on it, mm -hmm. basically just like us brainstorming of like what could be done and what should be done. Okay. And then I took all those notes and I went hunting through all the policy to find where I could splice those thoughts in. Okay. So if you uh, pulled up the uh, the minutes from the last meeting and looked at that page, um, whatever attachment it was that had our brainstorms on the policy revisions, mm -hmm. you'll you could do a side by side comparison as we go through all these revisions and probably find the nuggets of where. Yep pulled from that document and put them into these various because there's some that like kind of I could put them in a couple different ones in different ways mm -hmm. right the spirit of what we wanted to to revise actually impacted a couple different policies um and others that were just like in, all in one yeah but this is our first attempt right and then we're gonna um push it to policy right exactly yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, the whole okay. idea is to be like, you know, if we're good with the general gist of what we're looking at, then, you know, pass it on to policy and, and you know, let it go through that process. And it'll go through, you know, the regular meetings, the first read, second read. So the whole board will have a swing at it as well. Mm -hmm. So policy gets two swings and the whole board gets two swings. This is our first look at the actual draft language inserted into existing policy. Got it. Um, so I've been through these a lot, so I'm I'm just kind of going to leave it. Uh, to you to to kind of um, I'm basically like I'm not my feeling with all of these I'm fine if all these just went right to policy and started mm -hmm. the process there I guess I'll just say that but this is a committee process so um, obviously like you guys um, you know uh, whatever you want to change if there's something in there that you think maybe is a is a hard no-go or is is not in the right place yeah, we can make the change now before we send it out. So in um that little first section where you added um deleted the and then put like past, present, and future needs, mm -hmm. do we need to say past, present, and future, or could we just say program in relation to the needs of the staff, student, and community? Like, yeah, make it less wordy. I'm yeah. open to that. <laughs> Mike, thoughts? Mike, are you okay with that? I'm I'm here. I have to step outside as a public service announcement. There, we can see the aurora borealis tonight. Oh Jesus, really? It, it's yes. very pink sky. Um, so I stepped away from my my computer, um, and I'm looking at that. Um, oh, you can see it right now. Yeah. Because yeah. my husband. Um, hold on. Very now I'm just going to have to excuse myself because he well, was talking we about should, uh, We should recess the meeting for about five, ten minutes. Do you want to do that? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no. Um, no. Um, 
it'll literally it'll take me two seconds to walk over to where he is and just let him know um because that's like on our bucket list and if we don't need to go to iceland and there you go i'll let him know i'll be back okay Mike said that you can see um, the people's slides already. Yeah, so if you want to head out. I'm back. I'm back. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. I'm going to turn off the light in my kitchen. Oh, yeah. So do you guys live in a dark place that you can uh, see it? It's not that dark. It's dark enough I can see a glow. Um, I'm in Groton City, so I've got uh, EB and Pfizer to contend with. Mm -hmm. No, Mike's already seen it. Borealis oh, is happening yeah. around us, and I'm still in my meeting, and we're on mic here. Oh. Yeah. So. So so can you hear me okay? Yes. Um so um I I I like that we've got the policies laid out. Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder if you just want to list each policy first just a heading and say these are the ones um that that we think need modification and uh, and then have the other stuff after. I mean, in a different layout, the, the suggestions could be an appendix, but but I don't think we need to branch the, the document like that. Uh, but just just so it helps kind of like it's it's a breath that um you know what they'd be approving as as a whole board is to like basically we're we're asking for these to it's a referral, right? Right. With guidance, a referral to to change these specific policies, um, with with guidance from from what we what we have there, and and so like kind of by listing those policies, and you can just do them by number and title, mm -hmm. um, just say that like we recommend that da da da, uh, these be right. referred to policy. It's sort of there in the parentheses, but just kind of draw it out so it's so it's clear that that's the action item rather than um like the the actual specific text because because i could see someone reflexively thinking this is an overstep um mm -hmm. or or everyone just going into the each the wordsmithing everything <laughs> so. yeah yeah Okay, so I got that. I'll I'll make a note here and just list policy by number and title, and um, basically present as a package. Yeah, and then there I think there there are either five or six of them. Um, it's nine total. Oh, oh, okay. So some more. There's there's one of them that the only modification is um, basically to add like written email. It basically has to do with procurement. Um, okay. Say that again. Yes, yes, I remember that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if that's a little outside of us. <laughs> so. Well, the only reason I I went there actually, honestly, those were sort of a last minute add in because of um the last meeting that we had with Ray, and that letter that he sent to the whole board, where he was making recommendations on uh procure on, on purchase orders and certain procedure changes. And those notes were still kind of fresh in my mind as I was working on this document. And I found those policies that had the that all that stuff listed out. And I said, well, you know, maybe I'll just throw those in there. Um but uh that's not something that we actually like I mean we talked about it loosely about having purchasing guidelines, but 
I think it's this one. Is it five eight? Let's see. It was five seven or five eight. Five seven was one paragraph change. Yeah. Five seven is the one paragraph that's different. That like one one little bit of green. Five eight is definitely yeah, this is one of the ones that was a bit of a more heavy renovation. Uh, based on a lot of what Ray was talking about. A lot of this language I took um, from his line from his letter. Um, so what were your thoughts? You thought this was a bit too much, too far afield? Yeah, I, I mean, so I get your, uh, I, I see what you're, your rationale is just just that I think it may not have been an original charge, although it does fit in with addressing um, audit issues. Right. And it does also, I mean, in, in my mind, uh, what part of our charge is oversight, right? Um, and this sort of creates a paper trail or, or sort of mandates a paper trail that would make oversight more achievable. Yeah. Um, I guess what we could do in fair, like when it's presented to say um, this guideline or subchapter 5A um, may have been um, extending beyond our scope, but was, you know, part of like other discussions. So um, information was filled in. Um, mm -hmm. And as it's referred to policy, you know, they can review it. Got it. Because we need to have it in there, right? Yeah. Um, so, but it's just a matter of like, okay, when would we put it in if we took it out here, right? <laughs> right. It would be something that you'd, somebody would have to refer to policy separate. And it, that's just not good use of anyone's time. So, and if, if the rest of our peers or board members want to remove it and then have it be its own item, then, you know, we can vote on, you know, we could, we can have that conversation at that point. Um, yeah, some of these definitely need to be revamp like from 1990 yeah that was uh, one of the surprising things i found getting into this was a lot of them have the 1990 stamp mm -hmm. not related to budget um but sort of related to budget right as larger institutions right they have um and i don't know as a school district if we're put with this charge, but like having like supplier diversity um, and and I don't know if that's like a policy item. Like I said, it's probably a little bit out of this budget reach, but it's it may be something, you know, like as you're looking, if they're gonna update like 5.8 or 5.7 or one of the purchasing ones that, um, maybe we consider like um, women, veteran, um, minority owned businesses. Um, you know, sometimes I'm sitting in those meetings and it's sort of like, oh yeah, we're using this vendor because we used them in the past or they're the only ones that do this type of work, but I sit there and it's sort of like, have we really as a school district done the due diligence of um, putting out to bid, allowing um, other smaller 
and like I said, we're not a large company, right? I, you know, and our district is pretty sizable, but it's not huge, but it's almost like every little step like helps. Mm -hmm. And I, um, so, and I don't know if that's, that's definitely not here, but. Yeah, that definitely I, would fall into a, to a, that's something actually I would recommend, um, uh, emailing to the policy chair. Okay. And, and that's you, to, uh, right? No, no, no. I am not the chair. I'm just a member. Oh, you're um, just, okay. Matt, oh, Matt? Schulman, Matt Schulman is the chair. Is it Matt? Okay. I can talk to Matt. Yeah. Yeah. See, cause that, that would definitely be a policy revision and, um, yeah, like, so that would be the place. Yeah. For it. it always puts me on edge. Like, Hey, are we always going to the same people just because we've worked with them and then we, we don't know, and we're not, we don't know who's out there. Right. All right. Um, so, uh, aside, so I got those two notes up there in the, in the parentheses, I can polish those up, uh, over the weekend. Um, Mike, are you good with that? As far as that as a disclaimer, just identifying 5.7, 5.8 is kind of like fourth quarter additions, so to speak. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Okay. Um, so that brings us to 5.9, which has to do with monthly reports and annual reports. Um, or, I mean, I didn't want to blow over all the other ones, but are, are we good with just like what we said as a disclaimer, send it as a package to policy and let it go mm -hmm. through the process and let the board have at it? And mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go because that way, like, you know, everyone can have their say at once. And we have a process for doing this. Um, so yeah, 5.9 and uh, nothing too controversial with that one. Again, it's just a slight... Uh, addition of detail as to what would be in those monthly reports. And I also put in something about the grants as far as like, you know, um, that's something that, you know, again, there seems to be a lot of interest that uh, about that on the board when it was mentioned about having the actual reports that they submit to their evaluators be part of what they report to us. Um, but so I could actually just add 5.9 to that same disclaimer up top. How about that? Yeah, sounds fair. We'll treat them all the same. Yeah. All right. Um, well, we've <laughs> exceeded our hour, but uh, we are very close and we got about one more page to go. So I say we just uh, push on through because that the last page is not even really up. It's just a it's just the 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 um, brainstorm sheet as is. Um, do we want to present that or just cut that chapter out and just say that it's not been handled and uh, we look forward to doing that? You know what? Since it's like um, everything else is like pretty solid, let's cut. I I would recommend and I would recommend cutting it out just so that it sort of like everything else looks good and solid. Right. And then we could just say, um, we would um, move forward with the budget software review in conjunction with the new business manager um, at a later date, probably after the 2000, uh, after the budget process. Exactly, which leads us to the next uh, uh, agenda item. Um, Mike, are you okay with that approach? Just cut out chapter six. Yeah, you can either cut it out or there and just basically say exactly exactly what Jen said and what you kind of have anyway. Uh, I yeah. think it's the start of it. Like, but get rid of the chart and everything. Gotcha. Uh, so, but is there isn't there one policy that has a lot of rating? Yeah, that was the 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 purchasing policy one, and a lot of that. That had the densest text addition to it, which was yeah. me kind of revising, taking stuff that that Ray said and putting it into policy language, or yeah. putting what he wrote in his letter into policy language. 
Oh, and then there's another one too, like that. Right. Uh, just a small little paragraph somewhere. Right. Like five point seven was the guidelines, and five point eight is the procedure. Yeah. Yeah. The guidelines only had one new paragraph inserted in, um, and then the, the procedure had a lot. So, <clears throat> but those are those are mentioned in that disclaimer as far as. Uh, you know, these these weren't specifically mentioned as part of our charge, but it was came up numerous times and was also uh, recommended by the interim business manager. Uh, and, you know, they. <clears throat> yeah, I guess, you know, if we vote this thing forward, then we were just recommending that the policy committee take a look at those as well. Is that a fair? Would that be a fair position? Yeah, I think so. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. So in that case, um, I'd entertain a motion to um, accept the uh, draft the draft interim report as amended and uh, move it forward to the Board of Education as a whole and the policy committee. I'll move that we accept the draft interim report as amended and as directed to amend uh, during this meeting. That works for me. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Do I hear a second? I'll second. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. All right. None opposed, none abstaining. Um, so that passes. Now, do we want to move the uh, chapter five forward to the policy committee as a recommendation from this committee? Oh, do you want to do it straight? Yeah, well, okay. I, I talked I talked to the chair and he's, he said that he's fine with that and, and he would sign off on it as well also as a referral. Um, and, oh. and like I said, I talked to the chair of the uh, of the policy committee and and he already inserted a line into his agenda for to, to hold a place for this so they're expecting it um and you know what assume, yeah. sorry go ahead yeah let's do it this way it won't get um it won't get held up in the cow and then go to policy get revised revised there it just goes straight from us to policy and then policy can fix it and then like um yeah let's i'm okay with that going straight over to policy all right then i would entertain a motion to uh to discuss that second oh just say uh, <laughs> so moved i guess so so moved yeah and then uh mike are you a second on that or i'll second all right um any discussion Nope. All right. Hearing none, then I'll take a vote. Uh, I'll call for a vote, I should say. All in favor of sending Chapter 5 to the Policy Committee for uh, review and revision? Aye. 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 All right. All in favor? None opposed? None abstaining? So that passes. All right. So um, that concludes our business of the report. And... Um, so uh, next date of our next meeting, or identify the date of our next meeting. Um, I proposed the idea of March 20th, 2025 um, in the agenda. And um, the thought on that was that that gets us all past the full, like all the budget process, looking at their calendar or the admin calendar, it, it it ends, that's a week after, almost a week after they finalize their, um, you know, delivery to the manager. Like there's a lot of stuff, there was some like administrative stuff between the 28th and the 14th that they were doing. Um, Are we going to try to meet with Irene before or no? What, I can't, I don't recall what we were. Well, I guess I guess we could. That's where I thought. Like, I don't know. I don't want to necessarily commit to that, 
Okay. Uh, you know, I, I'm open to it and we can do it with this. We have plenty of time in the next two weeks to schedule a special meeting. Um, so we could say the next proposed, the next date would be Thursday, March 20th, 2025th, unless other, um, unless needed, uh, unless otherwise mm. indicated. If you want it on a Thursday, it's the 27th. Oh, I was going for the week before that. Is that in the middle of a break or something? March 27th is the Thursday. Right. And, and well, yeah, but March 20th is the Thursday before that. Oh, the 20th? Yes. Okay. Sorry, did I misspeak? I thought I said the 20th. I thought I heard you say 25, but you might have meant the year and I wasn't. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. All right. Um, Mike, thoughts on that? Do you want to try to commit to a date between now and, and October 28th and hope that we can get the business manager in or just let the what? process play out as it is? And My preference is just to get the business manager at the cow. Yeah, I think okay. that, that's going to happen, honestly. Um, okay. We'll get your thoughts then. So, um, so yeah, so... Is everyone good with Thursday, March 20th at 645 on 2025? Sounds good. All right. Mike, no objections? Well, I'm theoretically good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll call it good for now. Yeah. All right. Um, so with that being the case, uh, we can, I'll take a, a entertain a motion to adjourn. Oh, so moved. All second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. All right, all, right, all right. No objections, no abstentions. We are adjourned at 8.04 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.